I live here with my husband and two children. I have a seven-year-old son and a two-year-old son, Bowie and Reese, and we live with our Frenchie as well, Toots. We live in a carriage house that was built in 1910. What really attracted us to this house was how unique it was. My husband and I both like quirky, different character pieces. So just down the hallway, the original sliding doors are in there. And then when it was renovated back, oh gosh, 1910, they imported the wood from South America. So all of the paneling that you see on the walls is all from South America, which I just like, even things like that, it's just such nodes to different countries and cultures. And it's, it, you can just feel it when you're in here too. It, it just really spoke to us because of all those really interesting architectural details. Okay, so this is our living room. This is where mostly I hang out because my kids are on the other side of the house. I mean, my husband hangs out here too, but this really represents who I am and my style. As a designer, I'm always out and about shopping, not only for myself, but for my clients. All of this is a combination of the things that I have found on my travels. It's a few things that I found at antique shops mostly. So just like weird little things. So like that tiger head over there is from Las Vegas and I saw him, he just spoke to me. And then the wicker lamp, I found it in an antique shop and it just makes sense white here. My shell lamp over there, I bought at one of my favorite vintage places in Toronto, which is the apartment on the East End and I absolutely love. I just feel like when you have these different pieces, it makes your space feel really eclectic. I'm not against matchy-matchy, but I like when things are not symmetrical and when you just kind of throw them together and don't think too much about all of the things. Just put things in that you love. I have an issue with gallery walls. I have to have a gallery wall no matter where I live, and I try to put one in all my clients' homes. I just love to be around art. And with this gallery wall specifically, because it is a bit of a bigger wall, I wanted to have big scale pieces. Sometimes when you've got too many smaller pieces, it can look busy and sort of overcrowded. So as a tip, go big. That's my suggestion. I like to mix and match. So new things and old things, I feel like the two combinations really sort of balance each other out. So this chair I found on Facebook Marketplace. It used to be this really gross brown leather. I had it reupholstered. I just love the shape. I feel like it's a little structural. And then I have this cat that I found at Christie's Antique Market, I wanna say four years ago. And I just, I needed to have it again. I, I'm, I don't know what it is with felines and I need to have them in my home. I love books. They need to be around me too. I love my shell pillow. I think if you ever feel like your space needs just like a little bit of something or it's lacking something, my suggestion 100% all the time is add plants. I'm obsessed with them. They make me feel good. It brings the outside inside and it sort of fills that void and makes everything so cozy. So just off the living room, we have our kitchen. It's elevated. It's nice to have those different levels in the house. And again, it adds character and it's just something really different. This is our dining room area. I have two children. So we spent a lot of time here and obviously I want it to be cozy and fun. I had this wallpaper that I just thought was so bold and kind of unexpected. And then who doesn't love a good portrait? I'm obsessed with them and I want to just sort of grow an entire wall of just portraits. I feel like this maybe isn't a thing, but I've got boys, so I wanna add pink wherever I can. So I added pink cushions to these chairs, which I really, really like. I found them at another place up in Creemore and then reupholstered them myself and adding a cute light and a plant, obviously. The great thing about this house is we did not have to renovate the kitchen. The homeowners before us did the most amazing job. I just really, really liked the layout and the colors, the different surfaces. They did such a great job keeping the integrity of the home when they built this kitchen. It has that sort of modern feel, but again, feels really classic. So I felt like I could pair all of the things that I love into this kitchen and it feel like it's such like an easy transition. My uncle, he's a collector as well. He found that bake sign and I fell in love with it and he was nice enough to give it to me. And then just small like little pieces. There's just something so cute about that little dip up. It's just small and adorable. I love a good landscape. I don't know, a little dish. It's so cute. Doesn't mean anything. I just liked it. And there's no rhyme or reason really for 
putting certain things in specific places. I feel like if you love something, it will work and don't be afraid to add interesting things and just have fun and let your space represent you because you live there and you wanna feel at home. So this is our family room. It's just this big, massive space, which we love. As soon as you walk in, you're met with high ceilings. You really feel that sense of carriage house when you're in this room. They used to toss hay down from up there. There's big sliding doors up at the top where they toss more hay down as well, which I find so interesting. And then these beautiful doors, they both open up and they go out to the backyard. And they have the old hardware and their brass and they just have that patina and they're gorgeous. Really what made the most sense for this big giant space is to have our family room in here where the kids can let loose and play and imagine. We can shut the doors, which is really nice. We found that world map for $4 at a yard sale. I love world maps because of the color and again, the richness in history. And then there's other things. The Coke machine used to be my dad's. I found the bubble gum machine at this little vintage place. We wanted this space to be super cozy. Again, adding the plants, the books, and we found that really weird movie poster and it's like Canadian Mounties versus the Atomic Invaders. I don't know, it's weird and like, I liked it. There's some really fun pieces that I have. My grandpa used to have that chair and it is the most comfortable chair you could imagine. It is so cozy. And obviously the pink couch and pink, I fully get behind that is the best neutral. I found that weird little like flower stool at the upper foil market. It was so strange. I just, I needed to have it. And the chair, I love the shape of it. And the pattern just screams Florida to me. We are big movie fans in this house. We installed a projector up there and the great thing about this home is we can literally open these doors and there's a big white screen. It's the perfect space for a projector. So we have had so much fun living here for the past two years. Our babies have grown in this home. We have so many amazing memories. We've learned so much from living in a space like this. I feel so grateful to have had a chance to be here and have access to something this beautiful and hope that it will continue to give like it has with us to the next people who live here.